guys, I'm Burke Christina. Today I'm doing a back to school supplies shopping haul and I'm very excited because I'm excited for back to school. I'm going into my fourth year of college. It's my last year of college and I cannot wait to be a college graduate again. I already graduated college once and I'm gonna be getting my second diploma. So I'm very excited. I figured I would show you guys everything that I use for back to school so you guys can have like the inside scoop of what Brooke Christina has for back to school. So let's get started. The first thing I wanted to show you guys is this file folder. Now this is actually from last year. It is jam packed with all of my stuff from school as you guys can see but this was so helpful last year basically in college we got a lot of like loose papers that didn't have the three hole punch on the side and I don't carry around a binder so I didn't really have anywhere to put these papers so getting a file folder is very helpful because you can just put all your loose papers in here it was just literally so easy especially like when we had a test and had to go over like the modules just pull it out of here and have it and it's great so if you guys are a college student and you get lots of loose papers and you hate using a binder I got you. Though I must say this thing does get very heavy very quick. The next thing I have is my pencil case. I've had this one I think all throughout college now. Um, I was actually kind of looking to get a new one at Walmart but I couldn't find anything. So this one will do. I mean it's put up with me for three years and inside are all my things that I'm going to share with you guys. So I have some highlighters here. These are just the Sharpie brand um, and I like using these obviously for like note taking and highlighting like the important things in any readings we're doing or anything. I mean I don't have to explain highlighters. Everybody loves them. They're an essential for back to school. Next I have pencils. These are actually mechanical pencils. I cannot stand pencils that you have to sharpen. I hate them. They break so easy and you have to sharpen them and like once they get to the bottom what do you do with it? And the erasers on them are crap so I just I hate them. So mechanical pencils are my ish. I love them and I don't know these are just like really cute colors. I got them from Walmart. They have like little designs. It really doesn't matter. They're just to be used for when I have to take notes. Um, and I also have some extra lead here. These are the Bic HB number no. 2 and they're a 0 0.7 I guess like lead size um, but these are really awesome and I've been using them for a while now and they have never failed me they've always done great next I have some erasers because I hate using the erasers on the back of pencils I just they're not my thing so I have this one that was from last year it's this one I don't know how to pronounce it I'm not even gonna try it always does really well and I like that when I erase it it doesn't leave like lead marks all over my page it's really nice and I found these ones at Walmart which are the casemate brand but they're super similar and these ones were only 97 cents for a pack of three so if you're looking for good erasers these ones are awesome and they're for an awesome price, so go get you some. The next thing I have here is a mini stapler. Now I cannot tell you guys how much everybody in my classes would ask for a stapler because for us, our profs would tell us that if we didn't come in with the paper like stapled, we would lose marks on our papers. And obviously to a lot of people that was like, oh my God, I can't lose marks, but Here's me being the responsible one, having a little guy that fits perfectly in my pencil case. But I know that I've seen these mini ones at Staples. So if you're interested in getting this or something similar to it, Go look there, I think that's your best bet. Now as a college student, I know a lot of assignments are to be handed in online and stuff, so I always have a couple USB sticks, especially because if you guys don't know, I am in a television and broadcasting program. So a lot of our assignments are used on programs, but we always have to hand them in on USB sticks. So I got these ones from Walmart last year and they came in a pack of two, and I believe they were only like $10, which is really good for USB sticks because I know the more gigs they can hold the higher the price which sucks so these ones are really nice especially because if you fill up one you have another and it's like a good price too so yeah okay I got these posted notes from Staples I take notes all the time so I can literally just write the little note on here and stick it on the module or the paper or whatever and have it and remember these are great um they're also really nice if you're living in like a dorm room and you want to leave a little note for your roommate or 
something. I don't know. I live at home, so I don't get to do that. These are nice for school, and they're really cute and colorful, so I dig it. To go along with the whole like post-it note thing, I also have these. They are by the post-it brand, and they are tabs. I just thought these would be nice to put either in my file folder or, again, any modules or anything. I'm just trying to be better at planning. Also, we are putting on a production um, at my school this semester, and I'm the production manager, so I'm like trying to get things to be organized for that while also like being organized with my regular schoolwork. So it's just a lot. I'm just trying to prepare myself, but I'm excited to use these. They'll be nice because they can like just peek right out of the papers. Or you know what? They would actually be really great to like organize something like this. This is a three subject notebook by Casemate. I normally get the ones from Five Star, but I, I noticed the price this year and they are like $9. And this one from Casemate, I think was $4. So it's awesome. You can save for back to school. Um, I just got a plain black one and I like that it's just plain on the front and the back. And it's three subjects, so it is split up, which I dig. It's good quality, you know, like it's not super flimsy where it's gonna break, and like these are nice and not flimsy. So if you're looking to save money, don't buy five star, buy case made. The last thing I have which I'm probably the most excited for are colored pens. Now I love colored pens because I like I said like to stay very organized when I'm like note taking or whatever so I usually color coat everything but these ones actually have erasers on the top whenever I mess up in pen I cringe so hard because I just scribble it out and I hate going back and reading that note and seeing that because I almost find it as like distracting and that's where my eye just gravitates towards so now I can literally mess up <laughs> and erase it. Sorry, I just dropped these on the floor, but I'm excited. They are by Papermate, they are erasable gel pens. I think these were only like $4 as well. Yeah! Whoa, hey! <laughs> that was so lame. So because my camera hates me, it deleted the footage where I talk about the giveaway, and I don't think this video would be as interesting without the giveaway. I mean, it's back to school. Like, I want to give you guys something. So I've actually teamed up with personalplanner.com to set up a giveaway for you guys, and I'm so excited. They have so much variety on their website. You can make like a mini journal, a planner, a wall planner. Even if you're not a planner, like these are just so cute. Mine is adorable. I like custom made it and I, I'm obsessed with it. Like it's the best thing ever. And as you guys can see from this video, I like to be organized and this planner like literally saves my life. So because I love mine so much, I thought it would be super cool to give you guys the chance to win one as well and create your own. So all you have to do to enter this giveaway is follow Personal Planner's Instagram. I will leave that down below for you guys, as well as follow me on Instagram. It's at Christina with two eyes and obviously be subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna be hosting this giveaway on our website called Gleam. I'll leave the link for that down below. And I know a lot of YouTubers use this because it's super easy on our end to like pick a winner and stuff and I will announce the winner on my Instagram so be sure to follow me that's why you gotta follow me or else you might not know if you win but that is everything for my back to school supplies haul if you guys are wondering why I don't have any more notebooks or binders I take a lot of my notes on my computer and a lot of the projects we do have are on computers since I'm a media student so I don't need that much. And honestly, I only had to buy a few things this year because I already had everything else. So yeah, I just thought I would share with you guys some of the things that I really like and some of the new stuff. So I hope this video did help you guys and I hope that back to school shopping is nice and easy for you guys because I know it can be hectic, especially with like all the different brands and all the different prices and like everything's just kind of in your face and it can be a lot, but I hope that this kind of helped you guys narrow it down. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I love you guys so much and comment down below when you guys are going back to school. Uh, if you're already in back to school, then tell me when you started and how your school year is doing so far. But yeah, I don't start till the 5th, so. It's a day before my birthday, which I'm still butthurt about, but every year is the same. It's either like the day before my birthday or the day after my birthday, <laughs> so whatever. Anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!